What's good, peace family? It's your boy Amar Raheem Bay. Uh, coming to my people live. Seeing what's good with y'all. It's been a while. Been, been doing a lot of studying. You know, trying to figure out this world we live in. But I mean, once you get past the spirituality, once you get past the Bible, once you get past religion, you're going to ask yourself, what's next? What do we do? Once you know that you are the guys you've been looking for, once you once you dissected the religions and, and grasp the understanding of our religions, your next step in development is to study law, study the world, study the system we live in. So I want to bring to your attention today about this, the, the state of the United States Corporation. Um, because right now we're going through a big change, a big reconstruction. You know, a lot of seats are shifting, a lot of things are going on behind the scenes that people are not informed about. And that's why, you know, claiming your nationality is important. Because without a nationality, you don't have, you're not protected under divine law. And you're looked at as a stateless person, Negro, Black, Colored, Mexican, Puerto Rican, or any other non begir that makes you not ascendable in law. Once you connect back to your nationality, get back to your, your religion, get back to your foremothers and forefathers, you will come back under the umbrella of international law, families, nations of families, and you'll be protected. So if anything unjust was to happen to you, your rights get infringed upon, you will get justice because of who you are. You're standing in law and you're not a conquered person, which is a slave person, slave brain, person, individual. You know, Negro, Black, or Colored, which are all slave brands that we acquired by the colonial slave masters that, you know, chopped up and divided us and took our land to make us unaware of who we are. They indoctrinated us and gave us names that really make us non descendable in law. You feel me? You break the, we could break down these words all day, but, you know, this, this topic is just, this video is for the state. To let you realize the state of emergency and who you are. Okay. So, this is called, uh, this is a document from James Trafficant Jr. Addressing the House. Very important document. Okay. Speaker, Representative of Ohio. Mr. Speaker, we the United States are here now in Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Members of Congress are officially trustees presiding over the greatest reorganization of any bankrupt entity in world history, the U.S. government. So basically, they letting, letting you know that the U.S. government is bankrupt. We are setting forth, hopefully, a blueprint for our future. There are some who say it's a coroner's report that will lead to our demise. So, this document is revealing the truth of the matter, what's really going on, what it really is. Sit, coffee. Okay. It is established that the fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act, March 9, 1933, 48 Stat Public Law 89719, declared by President Roosevelt being bankrupt and insolvent. House Joint Resolution 192, 73rd Congress, June 5, 1933, uh, a joint resolution to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold cause, dissolved the sovereign authority of the United States and the official capacities of all United States government offices. So basically in 1933, June 5th, that's when the corporate entity known as the United States went bankrupt for like a third or fourth time. And they wanted to suspend the gold that we, because America always do, dealt in gold. Article, the Article, Article 1 of the Constitution lets you know that the only way to pay a debt is with gold. We don't have gold, so we can't pay debt. We only can discharge it. And when we discharge debt, that's all you're doing with Federal Reserve notes, quote-unquote money, paper. Um, that's what you're doing when you use those notes to, to quote-unquote, pay for something. You're, in reality, in law, you're discharging it. You're not paying for nothing. You're discharging it. So, House Show Resolution, basically, let them let everybody know it was a public act. Letting everybody know, look, we're bankrupt. We're taking your gold. We're going to prepay for everything. Yada, yada, woody, woody. Um, if you want more on that, go look up House of Resolution 193, 192, 73rd Congress, 
and dig into that and uh, study that. Okay. So basically, United States is bankrupt. They let you know. The receivers of the United States bankruptcy are the international bankers via United Nations, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. All United States offices and officials and departments are now operating within a de facto status and name only under emergency war powers. So I suggest you look up what de facto means and look up emergency war powers. With the Constitutional Republican form of government now dissolved, the receivers of the bankruptcy have adopted a new form of government for the United States. This new form of government is known as democracy. Demons. Democracy is de facto, people. Remember that. Being an established socialist communist order under a new governor of America. This act was instituted and established by transferring and or placing the office of the Secretary of State to the governor of the International Monetary Fund. Public Law 94564, page 8, section HR 13955, reads in part, The U.S. Secretary of Treasury receives no compensation for representing the United States. Okay. Gold and silver were such a powerful money during the founding of the United States of America, the Republic, that the Founding Fathers declared the only gold or silver coins can be money in America. Since gold and silver coins were heavy and inconvenient for a lot of transactions, they were stored in banks and claim checks, and claim checks was issued as money substitute. So gold and, co gold and silver got heavy, uh, was inconvenient to travel with, so they store all the gold in the banks and start issuing uh, a claim check, uh, paper and money representing what they had in the bank, which was the gold. So people trade their coupons, deposit certificates as money or currency. Currency is not money, but a money substitute. Redeemable currency must promise to pay a dollar equivalent in gold or silver money. Federal Reserve notes makes no such promises and are not money. I repeat, the Congress notes. It's law. Federal Reserve notes make no such promise and are not money. A Federal Reserve note is a debt obligation of the Federal United States corporate government, not money. The Federal United States corporate government and the U.S. Congress were not and have never been authorized by the Constitution for the United States of America Republic to issue currency of any kind, but only lawful money, gold and silver coin. So they're operating in fraud. They're printing up these fake banknotes and saying it's money. But I mean, it's fiat. Uh, let it be done. So they call it money, which is not. But later down the line, they know that people will catch on and start calling it money. Fiat. Federal Reserve notes. It's not money, people. Call it what it is. If you call it what it ain't, you give it power. It is essential that we comprehend the distinction between real money and paper money. One cannot get rich by accumulating money substitutes. One can only get deeper into debt. We the people no longer have any money. Most of Americans have not been paid any money for a very long time. Perhaps not their entire life. Now do you comprehend why you feel broke? Now do you understand why you are bankrupt along with the rest of the country? Federal Reserve notes, FRNs, are unsigned checks written on closed accounts. Federal Reserve notes are an inflatable paper system designed to create debt through inflation, devaluation of currency. Whenever there is an increase of a supply of money substitute in the economy without a corresponding increase in the gold and silver backing, inflation, devaluation of the currency, loss of purchasing power occurs. Inflation is an invisible form of taxation that is irresponsible governments inflict on their citizens. The Federal Reserve Bank, who controls the supply and movement of FRNs, have already, I mean, excuse me, have everybody fooled. They have access to an unlimited supply of FRNs, paying only for the printed cost of what they need. FRNs are nothing more than promissory notes for U.S. Treasury securities. A promise to pay the debt to the Federal Reserve Bank, which is a privately owned bank and not a federal government entity. You need to know the difference between a corporation and a government. There is a fundamental difference between paying and discharging a debt. To pay a debt, you must pay with value or substance, i.e. gold, silver, barter, or commodity. With FRNs, you can always discharge a debt. You cannot pay a debt with a debt currency system. You cannot service a debt with a currency that has no backing and value of substance. No contract in common law is valid unless it involves an exchange of good and valuable consideration. Unpayable debt transfers power and control to the sovereign power structure that has 